COVID obviously had an impact on us. Um, early on, like a lot of businesses, you know, you're, you're nervous, you don't know what the heck's going on. So early COVID, we just shut down and closed the doors. And after about four weeks, I decided that um, I wouldn't be able to pay my mortgages if I just continued to go that direction. You know? So there were, there were rough times and some of our staff, unfortunately, needed more hours available than we had. So we encouraged them to take advantage of the unemployment situation that was early on in COVID. Right. And I was a supporter of that. I thought, you know, the, the industry's everywhere. Right, closing up. right, right. And if, and maybe that's the reason, you know, part of why government exists, that you can step in and kind of help through this time of need. And, right, you know, right. 18 months later, it's time to shift direction a little bit because now it's 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 a different hurdle now. Big question I have for you is supply yeah. chain. How have you found supply chain in, in the last 18 months with your business? It's been awful. So it's it's it you know and it's it changes. I mean the the, the, the the issues that we've had now are different than the issues we had 18 months ago. You know during COVID there are a lot of businesses that really struggled and continue to struggle. Yeah. Being an alcohol manufacturer, people were consuming more, yeah, and more. that and that created kind of a, a, a different problem for us because I wasn't set to manage the increased demand, if you will, supply demand. I, I wasn't ready for that. Maybe it's the optimism, in, or it's the glass is always half full, and that's because I'm a winemaker, so it's it's, <laughs> it's never empty, right? So it. <laughs> It's, uh, you know what, let's just proceed forward. Let's, let's keep going as if nothing changes because this will pass.